we have some problems here to solve and it is based on transversal to parallel lines. In all these cases, you have to find the value of variables here. So in this first figure, M and N are two parallel lines and this line L is the transversal for these two parallel lines. You have to find this value of X. Now we know that since these two lines are parallel and this is a transversal, this angle that is 60 degree and this angle X are alternate interior angles and in the case of transversal to the parallel lines, alternate interior angles are always equal, right? That is a property of transversal to the parallel lines. So since alternate interior angles will be equal in this case, therefore x is equal to 60 degree. In this case, L and M are parallel and this line N is the transversal. So even in this case, if you look at these two parallel lines and this is a transversal, then this angle, that is this one, and this angle, are uh, alternate interior angles. This, this angle will be interior, this and this angle will be interior, but this one and this one will be alternate interior. Therefore, even in this case, y will be equal to 5, 55 degree on the basis of alternate angles will be equal. If you solve for this one, L and M are parallel and N is the transversal. Now, the third property of the transversal to the parallel lines, if you remember, is that the interior angles, the interior angles to the same side of the transversal is supplementary. Interior angles to the same side of the transversal. So if this is a transversal, let me draw it here. If this is a transversal in this case, right? This is a transversal. These two angles are interior angles of these two parallel lines, which are on the same side of the transversal, and that will be supplementary. It means what? 60 degree plus Z will be equal to 180 degree. The sum of the interior angles to the, to the say on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. Supplementary means 180 degree. It means that Z is equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree and you will get Z is equal to 120 degree. In this case, M is parallel to N and L is the transversal line. Now, if M is parallel to N and L is the transversal line, then angle 120 degree and this angle X degree is what? Is a pair of corresponding angles and we know that in the case of the transversal to the parallel lines, these two angles, that is a pair of corresponding angles are always equal. Therefore, X will be equal to 120 degree. If you solve for this one, in this case, P and Q are parallel, R and S are parallel, R, line, R is a line, S is a line, these two lines are parallel and you have to find the value of A, B, C and D. These A, B, C, D are the variables representing these angles. Okay, so let's begin for A. 
If you look at this parallel line, that is Q and P, focus on these two lines, Q and P, then you will see that for Q and P, this is a transversal line. P parallel Q, R is a transversal line here. And this angle, that is 60 degree, and this A, these are actually interior angles on the same side of the transversal. 60 degrees at interior angle, A is the interior angle, and these are on the same side of the transversal. Therefore, the sum of these two angles will be supplementary. That is, the sum will be equal to 180 degree. So 60 degree plus A will be equal to 180 degree. And from here, you'll get A is equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree and you'll get what 120 degree now if a is equal to 120 degree if a is equal to 120 degree now if you look here this angle this a is 120 degree therefore what will be this angle this angle. Now you can clearly see that this or live for this one. Let us straight jump to here. If this A is 120 degree, then this angle we know that in the case of two parallel lines with the transversal, R and S are the two parallel lines, and this P is a transversal in this case then this angle A will be equal to this angle let me take with some different color this angle how R and S are two parallel lines P is a transversal A and this particular angle will be the a pair of corresponding angle and since here we saw this will be equal so a will be equal to this angle, therefore this will, angle will also be 120 degree, right? Because these are pair of corresponding angles and since these are two parallel lines being intersected by a transversal, these two corresponding angles will be equal. Since this is 120 degree, so don't you think that if we look at this line, let me draw it here, if you look at this line and this line, then this is actually B and this 120 degree is forming actually linear pair. This is a non-common arm, this is a non-common arm, this is the common arm and two adjacent angles forming linear pair. It means what? 120 degree plus B will be equal to 180 degree and if you solve it then B will be equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree and this will be B is equal to 60 degree okay so B comes to be 60 degree or oh, let me remove it here so that we can further discuss sorry let it be B is equal to 60 degree let me write it here B is 60 degree now focus on this line this line and again this line because now we have to find value of so if you look here this B is now 60 degree if you look at this angle B and this angle C by focusing on this line and this line then these two angles B and C are vertically opposite angles. B and C are vertically opposite angles. Why? This line and this line is these two lines are intersecting here. Therefore B and C will be vertically opposite angles. So if B is 60 degree then C will also be 60 degree because vertically opposite angles are always equal. Therefore C will also be equal to 60 degree. So C is equal to 60 degree. Now, 
If C is 60 degree, then you can clearly see that if you focus on this line and this line, then C and D are forming linear pair. The common arm, these two non-common arms, this, this, this and this angle are adjacent angles forming linear pair. So angle C plus angle D will be equal to 180 degree. C is equal to 60 degree. So angle D will be C plus D is equal to 180 degree. We know that D will be equal to 180 degree minus C. What is the value of C? C is 60 degree. Therefore, D will be equal to 120 degree. In this case, you have two parallel lines L and M. L is parallel to M. N is the transversal line. Okay. And you have to tell the value of these variables A, B, C, and D, E, and F. Let's begin. Focus on this line. Let me draw it here. This one. And this one. If you look here, this is 125 degree. 125 degree and this angle E are actually linear pair, right? So 125 degree plus E is forming linear pair. Therefore, this will be equal to 180 degree. If you solve here, E will be equal to 180 minus 125 will be 55, 60, 80, 55 degree. So E is equal to now 55 degree. Now, again focus on this line and this line. These two lines are intersecting here. E and F are vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are always equal. Therefore, E is equal to F. If E is equal to F, then F will be equal to 55 degree. So this is also 55 degree. Okay. Now, if focus on this line, on this line, and on this line. Okay. These two are parallel lines. This one is the transversal for these two parallel lines. And this is one interior angle and this is another interior angle these two interior angles are on the same side of the transversal that is towards this side to the transversal and since these two interior angles are all on the same side of the transversal therefore the sum of these two interior angles will be supplementary that is that it will be equal to 180 degree therefore f plus d will be equal to 180 degree so F plus D will be equal to 180 degree since the sum of the interior angles on the same side of the transversal in the case of parallel lines is supplementary. It gives you what? D is equal to 180 degree minus F. And what is F? F is 55 degree. So this gives you D is equal to 125 degree. Okay, now if D is equal to 125 degree, can we find this A? Yes, because D and A are forming linear pair. Therefore, D plus A will be equal to 180 degree. A will be equal to 180 degree minus D is both 125 degree. When you solve it, you will get A as 55 degree. So we have got for D, we have got for A. Now, again, <coughs> excuse me. If you look here, A is focus on these two lines. This line and this line. A 
and C are vertically opposite angles. If A is A and C are vertically opposite angles, therefore A is equal to C. If A is 55 degree, then C will also be 55 degree. And again focus on this line and this line. D and B are vertically opposite angles. If D and B are vertically opposite angles, then D will be equal to B. Now D is what? 125 degree. Therefore, B will also be equal to 125 degree. So B will also be equal to 125 degree. Okay. Let's solve for this one. Here. P and Q are parallel. R and S are parallel. Okay. And you have to tell the value of X. Now, focus on these two lines. That is this line and this line, two parallel lines. And then this is a transversal for these two lines, parallel lines, right? Now, this angle 100 degree and this angle x, x angle, these are actually a pair of corresponding angles, right? And in the case of transversal to the parallel lines, a pair of corresponding angles is always equal. Therefore, x will be equal to 100 degree. So you can clearly see that 80 degree was of no use. It was just given to you to confuse you. In this case, this is a separate angle, forming a separate angle. This is forming a separate angle. But this line and this line, these two lines are parallel. Okay. You have to tell what will be the value of angle DGC. Angle DGC. You have to tell the value of this one. Now, focus on this parallel line and this parallel line. And if you see these two parallel lines are being intersected by this transversal line, right? So if this is a transversal line, these two are parallel lines, then this 70 degree and this angle are actually a pair of corresponding angles, right? A pair of corresponding angles. Therefore, this angle will be equal to 70 degree. So angle DGC will be equal to 70 degree. What will be angle DEF? That is DEF. Now, focus on this line. Sorry, first let me draw it here. Focus on this line, this line, these two parallel lines, and these two parallel lines are being intersected by this transversal line, right? Two parallel lines, transversal line, so angle 70 degree is actually a pair of corresponding angle to this one. This angle and this angle since this is transversal and these two are parallel, 70 degree and this angle will be a pair of corresponding angle. Therefore, angle DEF will be also equal to 70 degree because pair of corresponding angles are, in the case of transversal to the parallel lines, are equal. So this will also be 70 degree. For those of you who are getting confused in this one, let me explain you this like this way. If this is one line, this is another line, parallel line. This is a transversal line. This is given to you as 70 degree. Now we know that transversal to the parallel lines makes a pair of corresponding angles always equal. So this angle will be equal to this angle. So we are getting these two angles as equal.